This is the best environmental treaty the world has ever created. And we should ask it to do more. All countries around the world have joined the ozone treaties to protect the ozone layer. Though it is a single focus, we have seen that it has a multitude of benefits. And that is a good message from the Montreal Protocol. The Montreal really is a success from a scientific viewpoint. Uh, CFCs were identified as a threat to the ozone layer. Um, we began to see ozone decline. Um, the CFCs were regulated under the Montreal Protocol, and, and now ozone appears to be uh, starting a recovery. Montreal Protocol has also delivered in carbon emission equivalent units perhaps more than we have been able to deliver with the Kyoto Protocol so far. And without the uh, early warning in 1974, the contribution of these ozone depleting gases to climate change could have uh, been about the same as the contribution of CO2. There is an alternative. You do not have to use HFC technology. Whether you use our technology, or use ammonia, water, air, whatever, HFCs are no longer essential. Montreal Protocol was a partnership with the private sector that made it part of the solution and I think it is in that partnership that the key to the success of environmental action lies. I think the challenge is going to be to really look beyond a local interest and think about things from a global perspective. Energy efficiency of domestic refrigerator is now 60 to 70 percent higher than what it was before the Montreal. We have to distinguish between those who want to hold on to yesterday's technologies and those businesses and entrepreneurs who have technologies to solve these problems. I think it's now the, the moment for the Montreal Protocol to make the shift, to take on a bigger load for solving the climate problem.